I'm here at IAA Munich, which is Europe's biggest auto show. I'll tell you what else is big in Europe these days. The presence of Chinese cars. There are more Chinese cars on European roads than there have ever been, and there's more Chinese brands represented here at IAA than we've ever seen before. But what makes them so special, and why are European automakers racing to catch up with their technology? Let's take a look at one example. This is the Ito 9. I first saw this thing in Shanghai, China earlier this year at the Shanghai Auto Show. I actually had an Ito showroom, and I was really impressed with what I saw there. Let's hop inside and see what makes it so special. Right, first and foremost, this is obviously a pretty decently sized SUV, and that's the kind of car that they like in China. And in America, where I'm from, a big SUV is pretty popular too. I think it's a really handsome design. It's two-tone, very luxurious, you know, very sleek. They're definitely going for a higher-end vibe with this thing. You know, it's kind of a almost Mercedes-Benz competitor, which is pretty impressive from a newcomer brand like Ito. Let me start by telling you all about this Ito 9 with its dimensions. It's 5.2 meters long, 1.9 meters wide, and 1.8 meters tall. You can clearly see the size of it from its profile as well as its overall design. We have a wheelbase that's 3.1 meters long, so it's quite generous, and this maximizes the interior space. In fact, passengers travel very comfortably, as I'll show you shortly. Oh, and those 22-inch wheels? A very nice touch. Then you have these flush door handles that, look, you just press this button and the door opens automatically. That's delightful. The two-tone bodywork gives the profile a sleek look. The gray roof, pillars, and mirrors pair beautifully with the black paint and its subtle blue reflections, creating a very elegant effect. I think it's really handsome overall, very fitting for a flagship SUV. Love that two-tone paint especially. Here's where things get really crazy. The Ito 9 is equipped with an intelligent lighting system that incorporates megapixel projection headlights, adaptive driving beams, adaptive low beams, skyline positioning lights, and the intelligent interactive matrix lights, which are right there. One other thing about this thing that's really notable too, that is a 192 beam LiDAR setup. LiDAR is a pretty new technology to be putting on a consumer car. Usually those are things we put on aircraft or fully autonomous test vehicles. And yet it enables intelligent autonomous driving for this vehicle too. Now let's take a look inside because that's where things are really special. Before we get started, we should talk about what makes this thing so special powertrain wise. It's actually an E-Rev or extended range electric vehicle as they're called. They would call it a range extended EV too. So whether it's an E-Rev or an REEV, Basically, it's a big battery hybrid. You get a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine uh, coupled with a 52 kilowatt hour battery pack. So the gas engine helps charge the battery so you can go the distance in this thing. And it really does go the distance too. You get a combined range of 1,239 kilometers or 770 miles on the European WLTP testing cycle. That equates to about 140 miles of all electric range too. So it's a long distance run of this thing. But my favorite part is the inside because this is a seriously nice cabin. One of the big selling points with Ito is zero gravity seats. This model doesn't have them, unfortunately. You have to get an Ito 8, but normally those will lay totally flat in the back. And they have 10 massage touch points, so you're always super comfortable. I definitely wanted to check out the software here because that's one area where these car companies have a big lead over the Western players. On every Chinese EV, you gotta have the, the swirly 3D graphics here control the stuff outside. Okay, doors, driver, ah yes, there we go, see? And you've been opening your doors with your hands all these times like a loser. One thing that's especially notable about the Ito 9 software is that it can use updates to monitor the status of the vehicle and the overall health and your maintenance schedule. It'll even tell you when you need to fix things or replace regular parts. This is called VHR, Vehicle Health Remote. VHR provides comprehensive maintenance support by detecting faults early, issuing timely warnings, and recommending repairs. Now you may have seen a lot of speakers on this car, because there are a lot of them. It's a 25 speaker sound system called the Superior Sound System with a 2080 watt amplifier. So you're getting some serious sound quality out of the Ito 9 as well. Now let's take a look at the back seat because honestly, that's my favorite place to be on this thing. You've got this. Let's say you get some work done, right? Oh, that's fun right there. Look at that. That pops right out. This tray table. You put your laptop or something right there. Maybe have a snack. That's fun. But the real pied de resistance is this guy right here. Look at this.
Oh yeah, isn't that cool? That's a projection screen so that you can watch movies or even play video games from the back seat. I love that it's a projection screen because that makes it a lot easier to fold into the top part right here. Really, really clever. Oh, and by the way, if you are in need of a cold drink, let's see if I can find it, check that out. There's your cooler down here. But let me show you my absolute favorite thing about the Ito 9. Good amount of truck space as you want from an SUV. Oh, oh, look at this right here. And this guy folds out. Those are your seats, so you can kind of chill in the back. You have a picnic with your family or your buddies. Get a little tray table you can prop up right there. Very clever. However, so what do we think of the Ito 9? Well, it's a genuinely impressive effort. A true luxury car from a newcomer brand. And I think the people who come to the IAA show and see this thing are going to be pretty impressed with it too. The Ito 9 is going on sale in the Middle East soon. I'm sure we'll see more from this brand in the years to come. For Inside EVs and Motor One, I'm Patrick George.